Herding seagulls. Oh my god, today's a good day. Check out this. <laughs> Fuck yes. Yo, Snapchat, let's discuss this idea of like, what if everyone just worked for an AI? Like helped, you know, what if Facebook and Google just pay people to help build an AI? So you know how everyone's trying to build a chatbot at the moment? Um, there's like Siri, there's Cortana, there's uh, Facebook M. Um, basically everyone's trying to build like the single conversational user interface. And a conversational user interface is kind of like the ultimate uh, holy grail of like UI and UX. I mean, even yesterday I logged into this separate uh, domain name registrar helping out a mate and it was fucking complicated. It sucks when everyone's UI is is completely different. So even like between different domain registrars like GoDaddy and one in one and like all these other ones, their UI is completely different. You have to relearn. And that's one thing obviously a, a conversational user interface can solve because um, you basically, it's it's common. It's It can handle, ideally it can handle any query you throw at it and it will just do it for you. Rather than working out which button to press, I just say, hey, I want this thing done. I want to register this domain. And can you have it linked to this place? Like, you know, point to that host. And then there's the whole idea of like um, uh, aggregating apps together into a single user interface. I mean, why is there a separate Domino's app and an Uber app when I can just chat to a bot and get either of those things instantaneously in the same interface? So the way Facebook is going about this is they're building a, a kind of like a, an assistant bot that will end up being sticky to the top of everyone's messenger app uh, called Facebook M. And so Facebook M can handle all those requests. You can basically say what you want um, and it will just provide it for you. It'll probably start off in the re retail purchases first, like, you know, book me a holiday, buy flowers, book an Uber, buy pizza. But then it'll get more complicated over time and uh, more advanced. Um, but the way they're going about it is they're combining both machine learning and human input. So you don't quite know whether you're talking to a machine or a human. And then what they're actually doing is for every single conversation, they're actually going through and manually like indexing and kind of like uh, structuring each of those messages to work out what happened. So that over time they end up building this uh, profile of how conversations flow and what sort of what responses uh, the machine should give to the user. And so they feed that into their learning, learning algorithm. So imagine if Facebook could expand this out rather than uh, employing um, just a handful of people. Imagine if they could employ, employ anyone who wanted to help out and you could be paid to kind of help build this AI out. I mean, AI is the last invention humans ever need to make. So imagine if we had a billion people all working on building a single AI, regardless of what company it is, who cares? If Facebook does it, whatever. So I guess imagine something like MTurk, uh, Mechanical Turk, where you get paid per question. So you can sign up to the Facebook system. Um, they feed you uh, responses from the chatbot from Facebook M that you can handle. Because AI these days is really about machine learning, it's about data. If you have enough data, um, if you have enough samples, then the machine can learn how to respond. Um, so it's all about the, enough data. Oh shit, Facebook Messenger has 900 million monthly active users. Imagine if you could somehow structure Messenger so that even without knowing it, everyone is helping uh, build that AI out to make it a super AI. Another idea I've had in this space actually is um, because, because building AI really requires data um, and as much data as possible to, to do machine learning, which is why I'm a big fan of live vlogging and live streaming. So imagine if Facebook or Google actually paid you per hour for every hour of video or every minute of video you uploaded to their servers. So imagine like the equivalent of Google Glass or something with a bit more battery power, um, which is just constantly streaming. And you could basically, you could live your entire life and just earn your income off of streaming online. And it wouldn't even need to be like um, interesting content. It's purely just content for, for Google's machines to chew through, um, to find what you do and kind of learn from it. Like, you know, every time someone picks up a cup, the AI can so think of like how many times during a day someone like people like pick up a cup or a, a, a glass. If you aggregate that footage across billions or millions of people, um, the AI can learn the best way to solve that problem. And obviously that's just like the smallest issue, uh, the smallest problem they could possibly look at. Uh, what about things like uh, their job, their work, uh, more complicated tasks like driving a car or like whatever. And so like ultimately if machines and AI and robotics replace our jobs, there's still going to be a need for the machine to know more. To, I mean knowledge is infinite, you can't have absolute 100% so one solution there could be to actually for us to work for the machine. The machine, the AI pays us to just basically feed data into it, feed everything we do during our lives, and it learns from that. So I reckon that's a really cool thought. No one's, I haven't heard anyone talk about that before. Everyone's talked about AI and robots overtaking our jobs and replacing them, but what if we just end up working for the AI to build it? So that be your thoughts at Future. Also, beaches need more couches. This is so cool. <laughs>